Hello everybody, in this video I will introduce analyze module of correlation plus. Now as I said we had started in calculate part, we had started with a PDB file and then uh, I will do an LSLRT. See our PDB file was 6FL9 and we produced it uh, normalized dynamical cross correlations and normalized linear mutual information of fluctuations. Now I want to analyze from a network uh, analysis perspective my data, my correlation data. So let's check first if our module is correlation plus analyze and let's typically I recommend you to, to see uh, to call a, uh, help to see the available options. Here for analyze module, you need an input file, which we produce it. It's an NLMI file or an DCC file. And you need a PDB file. And what kind of analysis that uh, it can give? Actually, it can give a bunch of analysis if you don't specify the option uh, clearly. Uh, for example, it can give between this central, it can calculate between the centrality closeness, degree, current flow between this, current flow closeness, and eigenvector centrality, uh, centralities. You can uh, calculate all of them, but uh, if you want to pick any one of them, you can, do th you can do this. Now let's see how can we do that again. Let's go to top. Let's uh, say input is NLMI and the PDB file is 6FL9 and the centrality I would say between this. Okay, I want to calculate just between this, but if you want to calculate all of them, just don't specify anything uh, with dash C. What I mean is just dash I and LMI and dash P 6FL9 is sufficient. Okay, let's do that. Okay, it will calculate just between this here. Let's see. It may take a little bit of time, but it's definitely in the in the order of uh, minutes, not uh, okay, not in the order of uh, hours. Okay. Now, just let's see. As you can see, uh, it calculated, calculated between this for all chains separately, chain A, chain B, chain C, chain D, and chain E. In my case, it was a pentameric structure. So let's see what do we have in any one of them. I will say open this one. It plots between this for each residue and it shows you which residues have high between this in each chain. And similarly, you can check the others in chain B, etc. Just for your information, sometimes uh, on each chain, it may not be on the same scale, but uh, still, if your structure is highly symmetric, it can be Id almost identical. It depends on your structure, basically. So, as you can see, it gives us two dimensional uh, betweenness plots. And additionally, we want to see three, uh, the structure, how the betweenness is on protein structure. It gives a tickle file, uh, as a tickle file. I will try to visualize this tickle file with VMD, and uh, I will just paste this VMD dash execute correlation uh, underscore betweenness tickle uh, point tic uh, dot tickle. Okay, now let's start it. Let's see the between centrality here. Yes, okay. The it depends on your VMD's uh, color scale, but in my scale, uh, that the values, the blue colors have high betweenness, and the red ones have a low betweenness, and uh, the spheres indicate the highest ten percent of the, res the residues with highest 10% of betweenness, uh, betweenness uh, centrality. 
So you can see some of them are in the bottom part and some of them are in the EGD, uh, particularly in this region. This can, between this is used for, uh, to decide which residues are important in the communication between different parts of a protein, for example. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. And you can analyze different parameters, closeness, closeness or even uh, degree, etc. Uh, with Correlation Plus. Uh, have a great day.